Praise the Most High today. Hallelujah. Family, it is a gorgeous day here in the Carolinas, and we're so glad to see it. I do hope everyone is well today and that you're able to get out and enjoy this day like I am. Getting in some fresh air, some sunshine, and the most high willing, some good exercise. Pardon me. Okay, that's better. And I did a whole live recording yesterday and somehow I erased it. And I do apologize. I couldn't retrieve it for nothing. And that really bothered me because I thought that was a real good recording. But we do have another one today and it's called Don't Get Tired of Doing the Right Thing. Don't get tired of doing the right thing. And this came to my mind briefly <laughs> as I was a little weary a couple of days ago. But just like mm, the prior recording we went over, mm, I almost feel like we need to go back and do that one. And we will. And it's called Confidence and Endurance. And the script was Hebrews 10, 35 through 36. It says, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of the Most High, you may receive the promise. And the word of the day is confidence. The feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. Firm trust or having firm trust. So when it says don't throw away or cast away your confidence, which has great reward, that means you're, you're having a belief or a feeling that you can rely on someone or something, having firm trust in them. And basically what they said, what they're gonna do. And then that text says you have need of endurance. We saw that endurance, endurance means the ability to keep doing something difficult, unpleasant or painful for a long time. Mm -mm -mm. And family, what we're going to do is just merge these two ideas together because they're so perfect. Praise the Most High. So this was just an add in two what we lost last night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pop. That makes perfect sense. But it says we need endurance so that after you have done the will of the Most High, you may receive the promise. So it's basically saying he's given us a promise, but it's going to take some um, going through to get the promise. And as we said in yes, on, on yesterday's recording, it was like he, um, he puts us through things, family, and like I said about myself, to teach us more about him. Not only more about him, but what he's installed in us what he's instilled in us, the seed that he's planted in us, the gifts, the talents that's going to make way for us, that's going to bring us before kings and queens. But we have to be confident in him that he knows what he's doing. Because I'm not going to lie, sometimes I'll be like, Pop, are you sure? <laughs> you sure this is going to work together for my good? As the text says, all things does. Because right now I don't feel it or see it. Just like when he told me that um, I was going to go through something that was really going to shake my faith. But no matter what I see, don't take my eyes off him. That was a hard pill to swallow when I stroked out a month and three weeks later. I didn't never think that that was going to be the case. And then shortly after that, I would go through 10 surgeries, having an open heart surgery to, to replace a heart valve a brain procedure to pull out a blood clot in my brain, and then three surgeries on my left leg to remove blood clots, and finally two surgeries on my left leg to amputate three toes, along with a, a couple of other procedures. But praise the most high, we got through it. He got us through it. And family, like I said, it, it, um, it gave me endurance. And it taught me a, a whole different side of the most high I didn't know of before. 
and taught me that he was a healer, he's a deliverer, which I had known him for a deliverer from all them habits I had before. But then he took me to another level of that when I got hooked on the, the pain meds, when I had all them surgeries. And um, my foot was hurting so bad, I got hooked on them pain meds after them amputations. But I'm here to testify, family, he can do anything he promises in his word. And that's where we're, we're to have confidence in his word and endure until you see the promise. And let's peep over to the, the, the idea that we have today. And it's called, Don't Get Tired of Doing the Right Thing. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, we're going to merge these two ideas. And that verse in Galatians 6 and 8 says, For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Ruach will of the Ruach reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Mm-mm-mm. And family, just as I was saying, I, I lost heart a plenty of times when I was in that hospital. But the most high came and said, um, because I went to him, family, I said, um, Pop, I'm so tired of these people. And I may have slipped the cuss word back then, family, because I was getting over cussing. <laughs> I said, I'm so tired of these doggone people. I don't know what to do. They keep coming to me talking about this is wrong with you. That's wrong with you. We need to give you this new dope. We need to try this new procedure on you. I'm tired of them. He said, well, Rob, what did I tell you from before? And like a chap, I said, you said that I was going to see things that was really going to shake my faith. But no matter what I saw, don't take my eyes off you. You'll never leave me or forsake me. He said, that's right. And had you noticed, every time something pops up, we knock it down. And every time something else pops up, we knock that down too. I said, you right, but you doing all the heavy lifting. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just here like a rag dog getting cut on. <laughs> he said, not so, Robert. He said, if you hadn't um, believed in what I told you a month and three weeks ago and, and started putting that in your heart and in your wife's heart at the time, then you, I couldn't do nothing for you. But you had to trust in my word. That every time something came up, you said, nope. And he said this, he said that. And that's what got me on through. And that was a powerful word there, family. That was like added to what he had already promised me a month and three weeks before. Because I stood on that word a lot. Every time something pops up, we knock it down. And every time something else pops up, we knock that down too. But we can't be weary and doing, doing, we can't get tired of doing what's right. And doing what's right in this case is trusting the most high. And then carrying it out and doing what he, he, he calls you to do. And it goes on to the point like we spoke in the, um, about the prior recording about um, reaping the, the promise. Until you regain, until you gain the promise, and we see that here in Psalms 27, 13 and fourteen, it says, "And this is that we, King, that we, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Most High in the land of the living. Wait on the Most High, be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Most High. Hallelujah. And I echo that um, idea. Wait on the family." He gonna come through, just keep doing what he told you to do. And I'm in the midst of, of, of what I'm speaking on now. This is encouraging myself. Cause like I said the other day, I was I was starting to kind of feel a little bit a, a certain type of way. I said, no, I won't. <laughs> He's unproven himself too much to me for me to get, get down in that um, woe is me mentality or when it's gonna happen. See, that's a lot of what we're all going through. When is this gonna happen? When is that gonna happen? You said, I know you've done it before, but why is it taking so long this time? Because he's building up that um, endurance in your character. And then we'll go on into um, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, which is the promise. 
which he says, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things that the Most High has prepared for those who love him. And see, that, that, that goes full circle right back to the point A. Do you love me? Mm-mm-mm. Do you love me or will you love me? When I grow old, will you love me? I need to know. Hallelujah. But do you love the Most High family? And you, you quick to say I do, but will you trust me? Oh, boy. When it gets hard and you get tired, dog tired, boss, are you going to love him and do what he tell you to do? See, doing the right thing ain't always easy, family. I know this for sure myself. Doing the right thing can get aggravating. Now, I, don't, I just don't feel like I want, I want to do, do my own thing this time, Pop. I feel like it'll come out a whole lot better. I want, At least I won't have to wait so long. I can, I can go out here and do some things. <laughs> I can go out here and, and trouble the water. <laughs> Oh boy, family, let me quit before I get to talking too much. Praise the most high. But don't get tired of doing the right thing. Which the text says, don't get weary of well doing. And I'm talking to myself, family. Don't think I'm, I'm talking just to y'all or trying to encourage you, you all. I'm encouraging myself at the same time. Just like coming on doing these recordings, I was hot when I saw I couldn't find that recording yesterday. Or, or this morning when I got up because I was planning on editing it this morning and coming out and doing this one and then um, put that one out while I was out because I had to travel like two or three miles to get close to the tower just to upload it. They have home internet, but it, it don't um, it won't upload these reporters. We say praise the most high. We're not complaining. It's just what he's called us to do. Mm, pardon me. But hold it. Hang on in there, family. And like I say, don't hang swing. Don't just hang there until you fall. Move. Get some motion. Go to the next next ring on the um pole. Or wherever you swinging or hanging from. Look around and go to the next spot. Swing. <laughs> Hallelujah, family. We love you so much and appreciate you. And we really do. We appreciate all the um, new subscribers, new followers, all those people tuning in and reaching out. It means a lot. It shows us that the Most High has us on point. We're doing these recordings. And someone's listening and it's been an, an encouragement to somebody besides myself. Do stay up, family. Keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Hallelujah.